Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to thread my hair but keep it in as a style. This hairstyle was inspired by a lady on Instagram called Yellow CC. She's a natural hair hairstylist and she owns a salon in Nigeria. So I'm going to put a picture here and this is the videos and pictures that inspired me to try this hairstyle. I mean I love threading already but I've never actually done it in a way that's a style that I would wear out other than just to stretch my hair. So I've got some product from Treasure Tress. They do gift me products monthly and then I have a discount code for you guys if you want to join their monthly subscription. You get five products. So you get, oops, you get five products each month and it's a £20 monthly subscription and if you use my discount code LIMITLESSBLOOM10 you will get a discount of 10% for your first subscription. So definitely keep that in mind if you love trying a new product and i mean to get all this for 20 pounds that's not bad at all so let's get right into it so to spray my hair i'm going to use this naturally africa hairspray i also got this from the treasure tress box this video is not sponsored by treasure tress but it's just um these are the products that i just want to try so i've already gone ahead and parted my hair i parted this top half off first and I wasn't about to do that on camera <laughs> and then I've got one section here I've got one section here and another section here so I think I'm gonna part this into like three parts and then this into four and then this into three parts and then there'll be eight parts at the front so that's what i am going to do and i am going to start at the back this is the thread that i am using it's a weaving thread that i got off amazon i'm gonna put the link in my description box so you can get it if you want from my amazon shop so to moisturize my hair i'm gonna go in with the spray i don't want my hair Ooh, to shrink too much so I won't put too much spray but because it's going into threading I want it to be very moisturized and then I'm gonna follow up with the define my curls leave-in conditioner by revolution hair care London Ooh, look at that so it's very soft but it has a bit of hold I like that it's hard to even scoop it out so there it is oh this is interesting i thought it'd be a, it'd be very wet so it has a bit of um hold as well so i can imagine it will hold your styles together very well because of that little bit of tackiness that it has Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm gonna go in with the their oil. It's like a multi-purpose oil. So I'm gonna spray that into my hands. Oh, it's definitely like a serum. You see? Oh, okay. It's more like a serum. Very light and fluffy, sort of texture. Okay, so this is my hair after it's been moisturized. I'm just going to comb it out. My hair was in a twist, in a twist, and then I just took them out into a twist out. I've done a few 
styles today so it's not too too tangled So I've gone and moisturised and separated at the back as neatly as I could. <laughs> I'm not very good. And then I ended up going in with this um, Myel Organics Curl Smoothie and this oil. So I was gifted this by Myel Organics and then this oil, I think I was just gifted by this brand as well. Um, I think I preferred this oil for styling and then I preferred this one as an oil for a finish style because it has more of like a light fluffy texture and I just want like a raw oil to give my hair that weight. So this is the thread. When my mom does this hairstyle, she usually doubles the thread. Um, I think it's to make it stronger. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna double it. So as you can see, I've just folded it over. And then I am going to Cut it there. Hopefully, I have enough. And then once you do that, you just tie a knot. So I have this is my thread. I hope it's enough. So I'm gonna start on this side of her hair. I'm gonna go in again with a little bit more of the spray. And then a little bit more of the curl smoothie because I want my hair to just feel very heavy and moisturized because what threading does is it really sops out the moisture out of your hair yeah so I really like how it feels now you see it's like really heavy with products and I like that oh so now that my hair is all smooth See, this is how I like it, all smooth. Then I'm gonna go in with the thread. So that's the thread. I'm gonna start from the bottom. Every time I do threading, I make it too tight so i have to be very careful that it's not too tight so as i'm getting to the end i'm going to smooth and i like to hold it like that like this because I feel like these two just smooth it down as I'm going along. So to tie the knot, I wrap the knot around my fingers and then take it over like that. Take it over and then in like this. I think I will I'll try and show you again. And then loop. And then just pull it wow it's very long didn't expect my hair to be this long okay so I'm gonna move on to the middle one and I will basically just do the same thing and also as you can see you thread with gaps you don't thread um with you don't thread together consistently if that makes sense so you thread with gaps and i just love it i can't wait till i can't wait till this is finished guys so if it's too tight just pull down to pull the hair out and then once you 
want to I've done it enough times just start threading down the length of your hair So as, I, as you can see the hair is passing through these two and that's how I smooth down whilst threading. So as you can see I'm doing that again. Just adding a bit more moisturiser because the ends are not yes that's how I like it wasn't feeling as moisturized as I wanted so I'm just going to twirl that around my fingers and then pull it like so and then do it again so don't be worried about this this knot staying because it usually just slips out because the hair is so thin it usually slips out when you're ready to take it down or even before so yeah this is the second one done i'm gonna go off camera do it all and then come back and show you guys so it's been about two hours and this is the results So next thing is to bead them but I don't have the time to do that right now um, so my husband and my son are coming home soon so I need to you know get cooking clear all the mess that I've made from creating content today um, yeah and then probably do this when my son is sleeping so yeah I'm just gonna cut all these off and then end it here okay so this is it all done and I love it love 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 it <laughs> look at that all mine all mine So I'm gonna come back and do the beading later. Hello again, so I'm back. It's past 12 a.m. in the morning. So I'm just gonna come and do this last part of this video and then we can call it a day. I've got my beads over here. I've decided to use pearls. I did see a picture of someone who had used pearls in their hair and it looked really beautiful. So I wanted to try it. I got this off Amazon and it cost me I think $9.99. I can't remember what size these are but I'll put the link in my description box so you can purchase it if you want to try them. I think you get about 46 or 45 I'm not sure. So what I'm gonna do I've got 20 of these in my hair 10 at the front 10 at the back and I'm going to use two each so the holes are very small so I don't actually know how I'm gonna get my hair into it I didn't think about that but let's see so this is it You see the holes very small what I'm using are these pins so I'm gonna try and see if it will go in if I can get the pin in if I can get the pin in no I can't get the pin in <laughs> guys I can't use this I cannot use these pearls this is so sad Oh, 
Oh, these would have been so lush. All right, I'm going to have to figure this out. Let's see. <laughs> Guys, it's currently quarter past two in the morning. And I, like I said before, the holes on these things are so small. I finally made a little, you know, little thing thing to help me. And I watched a video on YouTube. And it's still a struggle, but it's definitely a lot better than whatever I could have come up with. But I like it so far. I can't wait till it's all done. I think it's going to look really pretty. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys. I'm going to link below the video that I used to learn this. But I've basically used the the weaver needle and then weaved all these through and then i'm used this and then i'm using the end of it to like as i would a pin so i'll show you so which one am i doing so i'm doing this one um because i did knots twice they're quite bulky so i'm going back in to undo the knots before so it's not so thick Okay, so now that we've got that I am going to put the thread around it so this is the thread and I'm going to put my hair in it and then curve it yeah so now that that's done I am going to bring the needle up I mean the the bead up and then push it up I'm gonna hold the hair and push it up so as I push it up it's pulling the head down and then the bead goes onto it and then i and then there we go it's on that's genius isn't it thank god for that lady and then i just take this off okay so i've taken the thread off and then i'm gonna i'm gonna fold it over like so and then use the elastic band to hold it. Last one. And it's all done. I hope this looks pretty after. I love it already. I put two on the side. So say if I put my hair up, these two will be hanging on the sides like that but yeah so i'm gonna go do it off camera and then come show you the final look but i'm sure you can get a gist of what it's gonna look like i love it <laughs> so this is it we are all done um the plan was to actually do two but with all the stress of putting this on, I forgot. But I think one is okay. I think one works fine. But yeah, maybe when I do it the next time, I will put two on. But yeah, do you just love the sound? <laughs> so yeah, um, I think this might be my my go-to hairstyle now when I um, when I wash my hair because. It will last longer than twists and then when I take it out I will also get a good stretch so I really love that so yeah thank you so much for watching and let me know if you will try this style and what do you think about the pearls I think I've, I prefer them to beads um, obviously beads gives a different vibe this gives like a proper um like girly vibe and i love it um but yeah thank you so much for watching and i shall see you in my next video let me know if you will rock these pearls <laughs> and i will put them in the description box if you want to purchase in my amazon store so keep an eye out for it and i'll see you in my next video bye